Hi, today's video blog is three questions to ask yourself when you get home from a first date. <clears throat> As uh, some of you may know, the heart of the work that I do is supporting the relational self-awareness of individuals. So this is what I'm working on uh, in my therapy office and my classroom. And so relational self-awareness is all about this idea that um, an intimate relationship begins with your relationship with yourself, the kinds of conversations that you are having within yourself. Those, um, that relationship, that internal relationship between you and you, sets the stage for every other relationship in your life, certainly your romantic relationship. So a first date is uh, the potential beginning of a new love story for you. And so right then, um, when you get home from a first date, it's a chance to kind of reconnect with yourself um, after the date and kind of um, integrate all of the data, right? A first date is a, a massive data gathering process. So how do you come home and sort of sort through the data? So one question to ask yourself when you get home is, how did I feel in that person's presence? Um, it makes sense that on a date, there's a lot going on that's kind of static, the noise, uh, the nerves, the anticipation, maybe some kind of rumbling stories, pessimistic stories about, you know, however you're feeling about um, prospects of love in this world. But if you can find ways to kind of quiet all of that and figure out the signal, the, the important piece, which is how did I feel in that person's presence? Um, ideally, in a romantic relationship, we're able to feel kind of open uh, and connected. And so um, to what degree did the other person kind of set the stage for you to meet them there, right? Uh, the, the first date is about what that person's bringing and what you're bringing and then kind of what you guys create in the space between you. So what did you feel like? How did you feel kind of sitting in that person's presence? Uh, think of the Maya Angelou quote that people will forget what you say and forget what you did, but they'll remember how you made them feel. So how did that person make you feel? What was the degree to which you felt kind of easy in your own skin? That's a very important piece of information to stay with. Second question is, and I think this is especially important for uh, women who are dating men, is that ability to ask the question, what do I desire? I think culturally and with uh, gender narratives being what they are, it's very easy for women to slip into, um, did he like me? What did he think of me? Was I, you know, pleasing, appealing to him? Kind of how was I in his gaze? So I invite you as you come home from a first date to really reground yourself in, in your own skin, asking the question, what do I desire? Um, how did I experience that person? And um, and I think that's a really helpful piece of information to kind of come at it through the lens of your perception and your experience instead of really getting trapped in the question of what did he think of me? And the third one, um, I think this is a really important one. Am I ready to share? Am I ready to share with my sort of tribe, the chorus of people in your life who are curious about and invested in your romantic life? Am I ready to share? And I invite you to be really cautious and careful about when and if and how you share the experience of that first date with the people in your life who have kind of a stake in the game or a stake in the process of what's going on for you. Um, again, I think especially for women, there is a rush to um, to kind of connect with important people in your life and, the, and through processing uh, an experience, that's how we come to understand how we feel. And believe me, I am all in favor of processing and sharing and breaking stuff down. I spend a lot of time doing that and I love doing it. But don't underestimate the importance of sort of that internal savoring of you really getting clear on how you feel um, before you start to share. Because there's a risk that if there's kind of judgment that comes across the bow, he said, what? You know, she did what? Um, it may make it harder for you to stay grounded in your experience. So it's, I think, a balancing act between processing with people you trust in order to discern how you feel um, and you doing that on your own. But don't underestimate or don't devalue that conversation between you and you at the end of a first date. So maybe journaling, meditating, sort of staying with your experience, um, and then certainly opening it up for dialogue, but also asking for what you need. If you, you know, I think it is um, people who are in the dating world get far more feedback probably than they need 
want or is truly helpful. So if you're going to process, I invite you to really be clear about what it is that you want or are looking for from the person that you're processing with. And um, I can't, you know, getting a lot of um, judgments or um, questions about how it all went may not be as helpful for you because what's most important is you staying grounded in your experience. So there it is, three questions to ask yourself after a first date. Hope you found it helpful.